Hello everybody, this is Don Markland with Accountability Now and welcome to the Morning Jolt where we give you small tidbits of data, information, and inspiration to make better decisions today. It's a tactical podcast about making today better today. Niche markets are often less competitive and therefore easier and less costly to reach than larger markets. I think everybody gets that. And in in addition, the more niche you get, the more you find the competition does not well serve niche markets. So I, and I think everybody really understands that. And in other words, this market represents really the greater opportunity for you, your business to fill the void. And I know people really understand I need to niche down. And when you're in your niche, we, the full concept is you're not trying to appeal to everyone. You're trying to appeal to that specific group of people who have a need or want that your small business or enterprise can fill. And one segment of my business is we work a lot with coaches and consultants. And one of the things that they really struggle with is this concept of how do I niche down? And I know when they start being a coach or a consultant, they go to Google and and they try to figure out how do I niche? And it's, it's a struggle. Because coaching in and of itself is something that that you can coach basically anyone. Good coaching is in and of itself a method that it's a fixed set of questions that you can ask anyone. And you you can coach them and help them basically self-discover and solve problems. Uh, And so this discussion today, this podcast, is not just for coaches and consultants. It's for anyone to help them figure out how to niche down because niching down is essential for any small business owner. It is essential for any coach, any consultant, because if you can't niche, you're going to struggle. You're absolutely going to struggle as a small business owner because in my very first business, we learned that if you can help everybody, you can help no one. You have to be very specialized. You have to be specialized. A niche is a specialized focus so that people will be attracted to you and it's it is crucial to your growth and here's the three methods to do that first is is determine your undeniable authority second is look at the needs of your customers and third make your undeniable authority and your customers needs work together and then the fourth piece and fifth piece is look at trends and do some research and we'll speak to that first one is determine your undeniable authority. Authority. I want you to look at your skills and experience. What are you good at? What is your experience? What do you enjoy doing? What have you demonstrated history at? Look at the definition of what is undeniable. Undeniable is without question. No one can confuse what you've done. And authority is you are cited as an expert at something. These, these clues bundled together means this is your undeniable authority. Without question, you are cited as an expert in a particular area. This is a term that I've coined to demonstrate you without question should be in a specific industry, market, or area to present or sell products or services. So if you're a whiz with numbers or you've had a history in an industry, that's where you should be. And no one can question it from 30,000 feet on a resume or on a LinkedIn profile. You should be in that area. Number two, look at the needs of your customers. From here, I want to look at what is the target market that you're looking at and what is a problem that they have. Not a problem that you want to solve. It's a problem that they specifically have. So many times people want to get into an industry or a market and they want to help people quote get unstuck or they want to help them quote feel better but they might not recognize that problem and that's a big deal they have to know the problem and so I want you to solve problems they know they have look at the needs of your customers and really solve problems that they have and number three, make your undeniable authority and your customer's needs work together. Make sure that what you specialize in and the problems that they have work 
together. This this key, the key is to be specific. Success is much easier when you are the biggest fish in the smallest pond. Remember, you can have a multi-million dollar business being the biggest fish in the smallest pond. One of my wife's good friends was a multi-millionaire because he was in the commercial garbage business in Utah where nobody wanted to be because he was the biggest fish in the smallest pond. You can do the same thing. Number four is look at trends. Look at trends. What are the hot button issues that people are talking about? What are the up and coming trends that you can tap into? This is where being on the top of current events or popular culture comes in handy. This can be a little more difficult when you're trying to predict the future instead of looking at past data, but it can be worth it for the opportunity to get in on the ground floor of a niche that's about to explode. So stay up to date with what's happening in your industry. Read trade publications, attend trade shows, talk to other businesses, do some research, and always be on the front end. This is so important. This is why you always want to be reading and paying attention. Niching your market is essential for your business. Don't try to sell to everybody. Don't try to solve every problem. Solve one problem. If you're frustrated you're not selling, I promise you're not niched enough. If you're worried, have I niched too much? You can't. Be the biggest fish in the smallest pond and I promise you'll succeed. If you want more content, please leave a review and subscribe on Apple or Spotify. You can follow me on Forbes. You can follow me on Twitter at Don Marklin or on Instagram, executivecoach.don. Go to my website, accountabilitynow.net, get my free ebook. And as always, check out my company, Accountability Now. We're the greatest coaching company in the world. And as always, this is your morning jolt.